Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back for another 13 Nights of Halloween, and as is tradition, it's been late into the game, but of course we had to bring in my good buddy, D-Free. Say hello, D-Free. What's up? Thank you for having me on, and uh, I just wanted to confirm really quick, you, you don't need me to record my own audio, do you? Hell no! <laughs> you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? Both you and Nolar asked me the same thing. <laughs> Dude, it's it's like customary, you know. It's just like it, you gotta it, record it, your own I, audio. I think you and him, and I think also Matt Booty, all asked me, "Do you need me to record my audio?" And I think <laughs> I said, "I don't know what kind of show you think I'm running, but I'm not that kind of. I'm not that professional." <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I'm cool with it. Yeah, laid back time. So we're here with Resident Evil Four, new game, obviously Resident going normal. Evil Four, awesome. Yes, you've never played it, but I've played it a buttload of times. I absolutely love this game. That's cool, man. Yeah, I, I haven't played it. Definitely never. Uh, I mean, I've always known about it, but just never really jumped in. So. Yeah, I mean, I feel that's the way. I mean, it's a weird thing to just be like, oh, yeah, the fourth one is the one I want to jump in on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's totally what I did as a kid because I didn't have PlayStation growing up. So when it was a GameCube exclusive, I was like, all right, uh, this is where I'm going to get into it. So I started so you, my... Are you able to fill me in a little bit on kind of what's happening here? Or? Yeah, sure. So basically, here's what happened. Happen, and there's a evil corporation called Umbrella. They're responsible for releasing what is known as the, a virus that causes zombie outbreaks. Resident Evil 2 happened, and that happened in Raccoon City. That's where our main character Leon comes from. And you can see here, this is the result of all the bad things that have happened, like Umbrella stocks are crashing. So in this current situation, Umbrella is basically gone. Because of all the bad shit that has gone down because of the the zombie stuff, there's no more zombies at this at this point in time. That's where you're at at Resident six Evil Four. Since that oh, since okay. Time. Yeah, so this is six years later. Okay. Well, we're gonna have zombies again, though, aren't we? No, they no. are not. They are not there's called zombies. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's there's something there. The they're very zombie-like. I won't deny that, but they're not the traditional zombies. Family. Because they still look human, except for some very specific different ways. There's also no subtitles, because this is the GameCube era, so... <laughs> I probably had to put on the option. I'll get I'll get yeah. You can hear these guys' amazing Spain accents. Anyway, you know what this is all about. I'm just happy the game's voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Resident Evil at this point is still in their big, uh, cheesy horror kind of feel, and this definitely has a lot of that. A lot of great one-liners, a lot of good, like, iconic lines in here. Oh, wow. Oh, you crazy American. Oh, you crazy American. Love it. I'm counting on you guys. Eh. So what, what games were you playing for these other videos you were doing? Oh, it's a, a very veritable mix. I played the Goosebumps Adventure game, some Dead Space, The Evil Within. I did a Dragalia tier list for all the spooky stuff, some Phasmophobia, um, some stuff that is also not not out yet, but I played some stuff that will be releasing pretty soon. But I, I try and always do a lot of variety of... Uh, there's a spooky Halloween themed games. Because that's what uh, I love Halloween. It's my favorite season. She's being that's why that's I always. Cool, yeah. That's why I always uh, feel free to just call up all friends. Technically speaking, I consider Chainsaw Man part of the 13 Nights of Halloween, which we started doing on Shonen Archive, because it is a comedy horror. It's one of its genres. This guy's all pissing right. out in the out in the woods in the pure <laughs> cold. His balls shriveled up. Oh, you gotta know that there has to be some insane shrinkage going on <laughs> in, in that situation. <laughs> Look at this amazing GameCube era car model. <laughs> it's so good. Hey, man, this this was the stuff back then. It looks so nice. It was. It does. Uh, absolutely love it. So yeah, if you look at the remake for this game, it's a. Uh, a night and day difference of how it looks but yeah that's the kind of games that I, I try and play and I think the yeah and we'll see by the end of it 
It's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's also a lot of time to kind of actually organize. My one day dream is to have 31 full days, but it takes me like a full month to plan out 13 days with 13 guests. So, yeah, you have to start like a couple of months in advance. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially because so many people are like different for different times. Like the specific people I've asked, like in the window that I gave them, even though it's usually a full month ahead, uh, just not enough time for some people. And it's like, yeah, I understand. It's you. It's pretty hard to just do it here. But here we go. Now some subtitles. I'll be your support this is hunting them. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. Yeah, so this is also the period where you could just talk to a woman That's like right. this of She's higher authority, of <laughs> where you could question their age. Yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. So yeah, currently we're trying to rescue the president's daughter. Good. Oh wow. Talk to you later. Yeah. Leon out. Peace out. All right. Uh, now we go forward, and now we can talk to this guy here. Huh. Forget your makeup or something. Yes. Sheesh. Let me see if I have any sub uh, options for subtitles. Mm. 19, 20, 10, 80. What is this GameCube graphics? They got hella high on. <laughs> oh yeah, the, this is the PC version. Let me see. I was gonna say, dude, look at what is this anti-aliasing? What is happening? Here? Yeah, though no, this was not uh, there for the official. Uh, probably it's one of those things where it's like full screen is the only way to get the subtitles on or something. That's weird. It's yeah. very weird, but whatever. No worries, I can I can hear it. Okay, good. Why didn't you play the remake then? Because the remakes uh, just barely the trailer just got come out came out. Oh, that that explains why I saw like a, a screenshot of it recently. I was gonna say, isn't that like brand new or something? I saw a screenshot of my timeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Okay. Of so like the before and after. Let me remember these controls because they're a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, you see that crow? Yep. All right. Now the crow is gone. Uh, and he had some money. Ah, oh, damn it. This is the crow with the grenade. I tried to knife it. It's too late. <laughs> oh. Why Good does a crow button. have grenades and money? <laughs> Wait for it. They just do sometimes, my man. Ah, <laughs> oh, this one had a, <laughs> had a spinal on it. Oh, jeez. Crows. What is that over there? Oh, that's a sign. Yeah, it's a sign. All right, let's go. We're going to go visit this guy. Local villager. I'm sure, based off of that spooky appearance, he's going to be very helpful to us. Uh, oh, me. this is a Sorry. dirty house. Typical Spanish house, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> we both we both can comment on it. <laughs> Look at this no turn, God. by the way. Wham! Oh, <laughs> I love I that turn so much. A girl I like how he did like a quarter turn the right, the other way, and then flipped over completely. Yep. Sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> Dang, my bad. <laughs> start, start talking shit in Spanish. Freeze! I said freeze! He doesn't speak English. All right, this guy is... Headshot. Headshot. Oh, I forgot. All right, all right, we got it. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, he went flying. <laughs> he did. <laughs> He's the other thing the, that's different from most of the other games is that you can't actually move and shoot. You have to stand in place if you want to shoot. What? Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's the it's a typical thing in some survival horror type video games where it's like well if you could just run, you'd be an yeah. advantage. But even just walk a little bit and stand still. still yeah. that's why you have to like think carefully before you do stuff or before you stand your ground. That's interesting. Understood. Gotcha. All right. Well, these get they're speaking Spanish at me, so it's time to run. He's not a zombie. <laughs> All right, let me quickly go here. Oh, that's not good. I hope Ashley's oh. okay. Okay, they, are... they just got skulls chilling there. Yes. Now, we'll pick up this handgun ammo. And now we will <laughs> <laughs> that, was... that just seems so unnecessary to me. We could have just Crack went out. Kick him. Damn. 
Oh, oh his whole head and arms are gone. Yeah, yeah, they're in the wherever ground. All right, so I have to be very careful. Pick him. Just go fight him. Knife him. Oh, oh God. Okay, this guy. This guy got easy. All right, kick him. That's how you save ammo as well, is that you can kick them. Later on, you unlock the ability to suplex them. Uh, really? Yeah. That was funny. All right, there we go. All right, so bad times in this little Spanish village. They didn't have anything else on them? No, I checked. They, you'll you'll see a giant glowy thing if there's something. Pick up this herb. Oh. The herb is, of course, very integral to Resident Evil. Uh, so would let you so where, is he, where is he putting all this stuff? Oh, you can actually see. Wait one moment. Those are my old saves. When I played previously. Hmm. All right, let me see. You can see right here. Right here, you keep them in a case. And then in order to keep your stuff here, you have to actually move them around if you want to make room and stuff. That's pretty creative. Yeah. But, like, I meant on his person. Where's the <laughs> where's That's the case at? <laughs> Obviously, it's, a, it's inside his coat. <laughs> That's where he keeps it. That's my favorite thing about a lot of these games. It's like, oh, you you got this, you got that, you got this. Like, okay, well, where is he putting it? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a very good question. Yep. At least like Pokemon, you know, the character always has a big old backpack on. Correct. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Oh, I got a hand grenade that that uh, crow was holding. Good uh, lord, the freaking head's hanging from the skull? Or the skull yeah. hanging from the thing? They're being serious here. We're going to save our wolf buddy. He shows up later to help you if you do this. If you're a monster and you just leave them here, then you don't get help later on in a fight. <laughs> There's actually really some funny. potential controversy here is that in the remake, it looks like that wolf is potentially dead. The one you're supposed to save right there. So now people are going like, this better not be the case. If it's the case, then I'm, I'm <laughs> not buying this game. <laughs> <laughs> not buying it over this wolf. <laughs> yeah. Those are some explosives that those dudes... Uh, left behind for me, but I think if I just go over here, I think I can trick them into going into it. Let's see. Where is it? Yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy, I'm right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some money from him. Oh, no, man. You said they're not zombies. They walk hella slow and act stupid, so. They are, but, you know. They're not zombies. <laughs> the, the, he specifically looked at that corpse and said, man, not a zombie. The <laughs> zombies are dumber in Resident Evil. Oh, really? You only well, have to be if the, the non-zombies are this dumb. But how did he walk into his own trap? Yeah, fair, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> oh, God, he's speaking Spanish at me. Fun fact, this game is the reason I know any form of Spanish. Oh, my God. I never learned any of it listening to my uh, family, but I learned a lot from this game. Alright, is that guy dead? Yeah. He's not dead, but it's okay. I can stab him. Knife. Knife. Are you the only one that isn't? Like, dead, your dead. siblings? Um, My brother doesn't know a lot of Spanish, and my sister knows a lot. And she knows enough to speak and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I I probably have the worst out of the world. <laughs> oh, I dodged that ultra instinct. Get away from me. Oh god, <laughs> could not dodge that one. Kick him. Could not kick him that point. You can only kick him when you they are in a very specific like state. Oh really? All right. Yeah. All right. Red Hawk. Reload my gun. All right. Red go. Hawk. Sounds like Luffy. <laughs> yeah, that's where your bullets come from. Just non-stop <laughs> <laughs> loopy shooting. There's nothing more iconic than the Red Rock. How you holding up? It's yeah. true. No, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Don't have. I'm sending you a plane Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at Red Wall fans molding at the statement. Ready, to, <laughs> ready, ready to go. <laughs> this is the playing manual. It's fine. I already know how to play this game. <laughs> but look at this. Oh my god. Kick this man straight. Put him right up into the air. Yeah. So are it you playing with like, the controller or are you playing with. Yeah, I am playing with the controller. You know what this reminds me of? Do you remember that, uh, uh, the Rick James Chappelle show sketch when he kicks Rick James and he jumps? Uh, no, like, I don't. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. There's like a funny kick he does where he jumps like 50 feet into the air. Wow. Charlie Murphy says that's how hard he kicked Rick James. That's how like, funny. Yeah. I need to see it. All right, let's look. So, if you remember our buddies, 
That's them now. They're gone. There's some chickens. Alright. Alright then. So now we're in this village. We're gonna have to survive for a bit. This is probably where one of the most... As a kid, this was actively terrifying. I had to, like, constantly play this one because I would constantly fail it. Mm. Shit. They know where I am. But it's alright. I'm just gonna quickly shoot this uh, lady with a backhoe from the back. Dang! She wasn't even doing anything! She was going to- Oh god. Kick her. Right. Damn! She's gone now. She would've- It, it was self-defense. She would've eventually have gone to kill me. No, no, I don't believe you. Dramatic I think you're just mean. I mean, that's also possible. This, this guy's like Luffy. He's wearing the iconic hat. <laughs> I like how you just break in people's houses and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it really doesn't <laughs> paint a good picture for what kind of person I am. <laughs> okay. So yeah, for this next moment, it's basically survive. Oh god. I pick the worst place. I'm out of here. Peace out. All right. So there's no benefit to beating all these people down, is there? Uh, you live. That's the main benefit here, is that they're trying to kill you. Yeah, but there's no, like, progression system or anything. Not yet. One moment. This is not the right place to go in. This is the place to go in. That's where we'll make our last stand, but we need to go in here. Mm. Also, don't mind me. I'm sipping on my coffee. I was getting a little tired. Why are these people? Yeah, who are these people? Very good question. See, so, yeah, that's why they're not zombies. They're actually planning stuff. Um, they're coming out with the chainsaw. They're climbing ladders. They're doing things that no zombie would ever do. <laughs> yeah. They're speaking Spanish. The most terrifying thing a zombie could do to you. <laughs> All right. So we're basically gonna have to hole up here. We're gonna try and get. As much ammo as we can, get some of that. Oh, I can't tell if one is already inside the house or not. I'm just gonna go upstairs and kick down that ladder. Let me pick up that shotgun real quick. What's that glowy oh, stuff? Shit. Oh, well, that's not good. I just opened the window for him. Alright, get away. Oh, God. She's about to shoot me. Okay, okay. We're fine. I forgot what button is, too. Okay, there we go. Nope. Nope. Where is my- Oh, I forgot it completely. I should have read the- It's fine. We're fine. Alright, we're fine. As soon as I figure I thought out- I you wanted to stay in the house. Well, there we go. I figured it out. There we go. Okay. Let's equip this shotgun. The problem is that there's too many inside the house. Ah, you bitch! Okay, now there's too many to the side of me. I'm just gonna quickly- Okay. Go get that we, horse. We're basically in there to get the shotgun. Oh, they're just burning somebody? God dang. <laughs> yeah, the, the, that's where, those were the dudes who were with us at the beginning are now. Oh, they, wow. Uh, kill, yeah, because the, they go away and they kill them. Okay. All right. This is where we're going to basically make our last stand. Um, as you can hear from the chainsaw guy, they're directly behind us. Crazy. So let me pick up some money. All right. Okay, go. Yeah, as a kid, I would actually run around the village and try and like survive, but I eventually figured out after many playthroughs, it's much easier to just kind of hold up in here and listen to them. Oh, uh, they will all just come to you eventually. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Goodness. Let me see if I can... Uh, why do I keep pressing the wrong button? There we go. I have a grenade. Oh, I oh, threw it the wrong way. There we go. Okay. Now there's more of them coming. There we go. That's great. Yes, always a good sign. I can equip this real quick. Oh! Stop! Okay, there we go. Oh, 
Go away. Oh shit. Oh well, this isn't good. Okay, okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I was gonna say, if he did not get away from that door, we were gonna have a big trouble here. But he's away from it. So the door has to open and close repeatedly? Yeah, so they're breaking down the door, but I'm shooting the door down the second that they come near. And they have to. Oh. Open. And I have about five more bullets left, so I just need to survive for a little bit longer. This horde is never ending. Yeah, clearly I saw more reinforcements come. Oh god. Down he goes. Okay. Oh, la campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Nothing more important to the Spanish than church. It drives them forward. <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo. They had to ask the producers if they kept that line in, because it's only in the English version and not in the Japanese one. <laughs> So oh, then for really? the remake, yeah, for the remake, they're like, did you keep the line in? And they're like, yes, the line is in. Things happen to the people here. <laughs> they're funny. You need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. So who's this person he keeps video talking to? Yeah, that's Hunnigan. She's the uh, person basically working with the Secret Service to ensure that she's like your, um, uh, for I guess a lack of a better term, the guy in the chair. You know, that's kind of her role. She's there to talk to you and be like, oh, this is a good idea for you to go here and go do that and stuff like that. That's Hunnigan. I see. Yeah. Very so. Oh, uh, the disgusting pot. I don't know who the hell keeps a chamber pot right next to their bed. <laughs> that seems actively disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Various things here. All right, now that they're all gone, I can... Uh loot this place as intended so funny enough if you go there's a place up here which is a tower and if you go up there they actually start throwing stuff at you so it's actually not a very safe place oh wow yeah they really don't want you to go there there you go got some points from there is there anything else in here nope dramatic kick so you just get to loot the whole town now huh yes let me quickly change my gun Chicken. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't sh Chicken! Oh god, this chicken is the hardest thing to kill so far. These chickens can drop eggs. That's why I'm trying to kill it. And they can restore your health. Oh, that's funny. But somehow that chicken survived taking a handgun shot. And I've been in here already checked everything. Kick. It's a base chicken. I know. It's the world's strongest chicken. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where is he? He's run away from me this time. You don't have to get anything. He's right there. Him. Oh, wait. I had to reload. <laughs> Down goes chicken. Damn it. Didn't drop it. it There's also something dipped. inside of this house you were just by. Oh, was it? Yeah, I saw it in the window. Oh. I thought I had looted everything. Oh, there is. Oh. Uh, it was worth checking. No. Try. But yeah, the progressions, you upgrade your guns, not you. Ah, gotcha. And eventually, for the herb stuff that you can see here, there's yellow herbs, and if you combine a green herb, a red herb, and a yellow herb, it completely heals you and also increases your life bar. You can see right there at the life bar where the gun is, where the, the circle's not completely filled in. Mm -hmm. That's where you kind of can upgrade your health and stuff. But at the beginning, you start off with not the most health in the world. Gotcha. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Here's a cow. Kill it. It takes too much bullets and it doesn't drop anything. So I can't, oh, really? I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> you can set fire to them in the new remake. There's the oh, yellow herb. God. Yeah, that was the one of the first things. So yeah, you can combine them. There we go. Now we have a full heal for whenever we need it. Hmm. All right. Looks like I've looted. Oh, no, I need to climb the tower. Let me just do that real quick. My guy is injured, but it's okay. He can he can hold on as he climbs this tower. 
It doesn't affect your walking speed, thankfully. Yeah. You just kind of hold on to his stomach. Jump out the window. Oh, that would have been even greater. I have no idea how he's able how he's able to jump out that window other than he is Leon S. Kennedy. Uh, it seems actively like you would break every leg, every bone yeah, exactly. in your leg. So, what do we have to do now? Leave? Mm-hmm. Then well, we got to go. We want to go in there. That's where everyone went, but we can't currently go in there, so we have to figure out a way to go through there. I saw so the we weird just, symbol on. Yes, with the weird little um, symbol on it. I don't remember what the symbol looks like, but it's like a not like a cross. But, yeah, it's a little religious symbol, I think, of their religion. Mm. This is another place you could have potentially hold up, but there's no um, there's no door to keep the, that they have to break down, so I usually don't go here. <laughs> I yeah. used to as a kid. There you go, handgun ammo. Here's some lore of the alert order. Recently, there have been information that a United States government agent is here to investigate the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact uh -huh. with the prisoner. They've got pictures of him? Yeah, they do, at various points in America. <laughs> That's crazy. For those of you not informed, the prisoner is being held in the old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert, Chief Vitoris Mendez. So they knew we were coming already. They yeah. Were already on full alert. I just thought that was so funny. They were they had pictures of it. Yeah, they had it. You know, just living his casual life. <laughs> yeah, in this coat. <laughs> the yeah, same coat exactly. he came to go rescue the president's daughter in. So that that adds a lot of context and it explains why everybody was after him. Oh, yeah, right away. Everyone was prepared for him from the jump. Yeah, as soon as they saw him. I thought there was something to your right. There is, but I think... Yes, we are good to stop recording for now, and we will continue on with more uh, good times. Oh, God, where did my mouse go? Uh, there it is. We will continue with more spooky times in the next one. Thank you, D-Free, for joining me. I am more than happy to have someone watch me just play one of my favorite games. <laughs> No problem, man. Till next time, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Say goodbye, D-Free. Peace.